Hey guys, Miskatonic here. Welcome back to Let's Play the Empire of Kievan Rus. Uh, when we left off, we had been fighting the uh, Kievans down here. Not the uh, Kievans, Kievians, but the Kievans. Kievans. Uh, it's a little confusing, actually. It's definitely it's spelled completely differently, but I guess it's, it's pronounced similar, similarly. Um, never mind. Anyway, uh, we had seen a death stack approaching, and so we kind of retreated. Uh, hoping that our other retinues would get there in time, and I, it appears they've moved maybe four counties, so the chances of that happening are quite unlikely. Uh, we're going to speed up time, and hopefully, what is this? Range marriage. Despot of Croatia wants to marry someone. Uh, who is this? Kinswoman. 39. So she's not going to have kids. Well, she she can, but it's not, not likely. Um... Yeah, I think that's fine. Alright, so we're at 69%. We're very close. Um, if we can manage to siege maybe one more county, uh, we might be able to push ourselves to the uh, 100%. Uh, wants to hire ruffians to bully the peasants. Gain a little gold for revolt risk for a year. Yeah, I think that's fine. And here they come. They're actually going to Samarkand, which, if they stay there, is fine. Uh... I'm not sure why he would be imprisoned. Uh, he's got up to 25,000 now. And Kurzeni is what you see. Okay, Vikings, of course. Um, it looks like um, he's not coming after me. Okay. Yeah, it looks like he's just sitting there. No, he no, he's coming after me. That's uh. 3rd of November. I'm almost certain I can't escape at this point. 9th of November. 29th of November. Um. Oh, man. Well, I guess... I guess the reckoning is upon us. Uh, 3,000. Another 6,000. That's all I get from the entire kingdom. 3,000. Uh, when can you get there? 27th of January. So it's actually quicker to walk um, from this province to this province, unless there's some modifiers in the leaders, I guess. Alright, so we've been attacked. Uh, are they actually routed? No. For a second there, it looked not too bad, but yeah, we definitely lost. That's for sure. Uh, lost five thousand. Uh, and he is chasing me. Um, let's merge everybody up. Hopefully, these guys will get there in time to do something. At least scare them away. Uh, speaking of factions, there's an independence faction, but it's only 11%, so it's not not worrisome at all. Uh, these guys are sort of close by. Alright, so he's not actually chasing me now, which is good. Uh, he does have some reinforcements here, though. So we're back to 20,000. I, I think going this way is, is beneficial. Um, what is all this? Levies, right, right. Okay. I could call in Rome, but uh, it seems to be the easy way out.
Okay, let's go and uh, siege this. Uh, despite that loss, we're still at 70%. Uh, that battle is only negative 2%. And they're actually surrendering. All right. Well, that was easy. Uh, let's drop the troops down. And uh, let this revenue, uh, retinue recover over that way. Uh, we got lots of minor holdings, two baronies. Uh, what I usually do with um, baronies within a county is just let the count itself hold them. Uh, that's not a guaranteed. Sometimes they give them away or their sons inherit. But uh, it's better to have the count hold them because he'll control all of the retinue and they're more likely to get upgraded that way. Um, if a, a vassal baron is, is controlling it, he's going to have less money to spend on upgrades. Uh, this is how I look at it. That might not be it might not be in practice what happens uh, in the game, but to me that makes sense. Uh, let's go for stewardship. I'll give you, I guess, Samarkand. And you get bulk. And you're very old, and with no wife, so you're also really old. Am I sorting by age? Like, what the hell? No, it's just working out that way. Um, 54 isn't too bad. If he dies, then his duke will inherit it, which, it's alright. Alright, so that's that taken care of. Can we usurp the duchy? Uh, yes, we can actually create it. Alright, so that's one more duchy in our control. We'll give it to... this guy. Alright, looks good. Okay. Um, from here, we have a truce now with uh, Baradids. Um, they do hold part of another duchy, it looks like. Corazan. Yeah, this is Merv over here. Um... Corazan's actually split four ways. It's pretty cool. Uh, so I think we should just go after Berjand. Um, our retinues are already in the area. This guy's on his way down. Uh, so it's really a better time. Or as good a time as any, I, sh I suppose. Uh, I guess we should have gone for Merv, actually. That would have given us access to uh, places over here. Um, it's so fragmented, like, there's going to be a lot of truces just to break all this up, or, uh, to conquer it all, unless they have revolts and go independent. <clears throat> and Bartelids are actually a lot bigger than they appear. They have a lot of, um, the Mecca, uh, duchy, I guess Medina, um, they have a lot of Arabia in general, uh, so they're, they're stronger than they appear at first glance. It's kind of like an iceberg, I guess. Although Persia is a pretty big iceberg. Um, but uh, where is his capital? Not Mecca. It's the Caliph of Arabia. Uh, he probably holds stuff over here, too. Is that him? No, that's Egypt. I'm not really sure where his capital is. Reigning in Sinjar. Mosque of Hatra. He has one mosque in <laughs> in Byzantium's lands. That's amazing. The Mosque of Hatra. That's his only direct holding. All right. Well, uh, yeah, we're gonna kick your teeth in a little bit. Uh, add insult to injury. That's a big duchy. That's gonna be a lot of a lot of land to give away. Um. All right. Well, let's get this started. You guys are not not actually finished. Um, why are your leaders so bad? This guy's better. Uh, this guy. This guy. Actually, I kind of want him in the center. So we'll do that. 
and we'll just have a two front attack. Um, that big stack that I never actually wiped out is probably from this guy, so uh, we're going to have to keep our eyes open for that as well. Oh, here we go. See, here's a revolt already. Um, what is the revolt over? Alright, well, if he does win that war, then, um, which it looks like he should, the we won't have a truce with this person, so we can immediately declare on him. We'll just have to keep our eyes open for that. And, yep, here's more people joining. And there is his 15,000 stack. Alright, well this is going to be a lot more painful. Um, our numbers are dwindling, and we're actually sick. And we have an ambition? Oh, Marshall, okay. As soon as the illness goes away, that will be fulfilled, which is, you know, if we get an event in time, will be a net gain, but it's unlikely. Ill goes away pretty quickly, unless it kills you. Uh, okay. And these ones aren't as heavily defended, it looks like. And I'll move forward. Probably shouldn't split up too much. Oh, like that. Um, oops, pause. Why isn't that... That should be pausing whenever I join battle. Uh, we're gonna wanna join up here. We're already routing. Um, and they didn't get a mountainous penalty, which I kind of assumed they would here. Persia's a lot of mountains in general, I think. Uh, yeah, mountains down here. What is this? Desert. Okay. Come on! Reinforce! No. <laughs> oh, my retinues are just not not like they they just lost eight thousand. Uh, so he's trying to run away. Fourth of August, fifth of July. So we're easily going to catch him. The only question is, will we be able to kill him? Looks like yes. Oh, all right, where is he running? Samarkand, really? Samarkand. No. Uh, I don't want you to... Oh, I guess he's retreating. Are you really running to Samarkand? Okay. And we have a lot of money, but we have a lot of hurt red, uh, retinues as well, so we probably shouldn't be spending the money on it right now. Alright, so another victory. You're running to Bukhara, and you're actually getting attrition, so that's good. Um, I guess it's okay for you to come down here. Uh, it's a little worrying. He does have some troops down here. Or his allies do. But, uh... Okay. Going to Samarkand. It's, probably, it's definitely a little too, uh, too hard to just assault it, but... I'll let him sit there. And I guess we'll just ping pong back and forth. Because who doesn't enjoy that? Uh, there we go. Lost ill. Fulfilled our ambition. Um, you are trying to revoke something. Grand Prince of Karamiza. Prince of Kievan Rus. Grand Prince of Ryzen. So you own two duchies. You married a duchess. See, this is what happens. Um, ah, oh, this is a, a pain. Uh, they're both 16, so I guess it was... You know, if they're if they're uh, staggered the ages, they'll they'll marry you know someone else. But uh, if they just come of age at the same time, like it's it's usually gonna happen. the The weird thing is that they're both of my <laughs> close members of my dynasty, which means they're pretty uh, close in relations. Which means uh, inbreds. Um, he actually has a claim on the throne too, a weak one, but um, I don't think he'll be able to press it. Yeah, female rulers or regencies. Um, second or third in line. You know, he's my brother, so unless I have zero sons. Uh, he might be second in line, or third in line. 
so that might actually be pressable. Uh, we need a steward though. Put that guy in. I think that's actually the guy. Nope, he's Kiva. Grand Prince of Kiva, heir to the county of Aral. Okay. Uh, who was that guy though? Karamiza and Ryazan. Karamiza's over here. So that's a big duchy. Ryazan is four counties, not to, nothing to scoff at. And that's a really big hassle. Uh, he only owns one county, though. So if we revoke the duchy, we could just give it to someone else. Um, wow, that's a pain. Um, I definitely don't want that mega block duchy over there. So we'll come back to that. We'll focus on the war. For now. And uh, where are you coming? Oh, you're you're coming after me, aren't you? No, he's actually going here. Well, we don't want you... No, we do want you to, to finish that stack off. As long as he doesn't come after my weak stack, um, I don't mind if he sieges stuff back. That's fine. Uh, this guy inherited. Alright, he's still not coming after me. And this guy still hasn't been wiped out. You know, I don't care about this message. How do I turn this off? Um, I don't even want it as low priority. Uh, this column controls behavior when regarding characters set as special interest. That's fine. Regarding you, that's fine. Uh, this one I just want in the log. I don't care. Okay, so that army's gone. Uh, let's sort of get in the same general area in case they decided to uh, converge on me. This is mountains, so there is a huge defensive bonus for being in them if you're attacked. Um, you're still trying to go there. I wonder if I converge there if it'll stop you. Um, even more people are coming. Even this revolting county has uh, decided to join against us, which makes complete sense. Uh, no, he hasn't stopped, and he's actually getting attrition, which means... What does that mean? What do I want to do? I guess... What's the supply limit here? Definitely not enough. Oh man, I'm sure that's mountains too. I'm sure that's mountains. Yep. Alright, uh... Do I want to come this way? You're actually fighting against him, I think. Yeah. So I don't want to help him out if I don't have to. Where's he running to? He's running away. No? No, he's not. He's coming after me. Alright. Is that going to scare you? Yep, it is. Uh, he's actually assaulting now. That didn't do anything against for his morale, though, so it's okay. Fortunately, um... Uh, Grand Prince of Trinagov, also married to a uh, kinswoman, which is kind of weird. She's the heir to the Grand Principality of Vladimir. Uh, you never had a son, did you? God damn. This isn't, that's another duchy I'm going to have to take care of. Okay. 
Um, yeah, Oubliette for you. 11th of April, which means I, I, want, I don't want him to... Uh... Oh, he is converging both sides on me. Oh, no. That doesn't stop him either. This is going to be bloody. Uh, what do you have? You have just already, so kind would be good. Okay, stop that. Stop, stop, stop. We need we need more men. I mean, 30,000 troops just isn't cutting it for the uh, entire Arab world. Or uh, Muslim world. Everyone meet up there. All right, we've been attacked in Burjand. Uh, theoretically, in the mountains, we have the advantage. I don't want siege view. What the hell? There it is. Um, we are crumbling though. If we can save one flank. Nope. Uh, okay, here we go. This is my son, my heir. Uh, Prince Vladimir of Kievan Rus. He is a gray eminence, which is good. He's, he's actually really good all around. Um, some stats are lacking, but uh, that's okay. The diplomacy is the most important, in my opinion. Uh, all right. I think he's the first uh, emperor in a long time to actually look Russian. Um, heir to the Empire, Grand Principality. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Did we get there in time? Yes. Uh, this guy inherited Lithuania. That's fine. Um, where are you running to? I, I need to get you guys just away from everything. He's still coming, though. He's still coming. Okay, we can't, we can't leave. We outnumber him, though, so I don't see how that was a good idea. Yeah, that was bad. And we really don't have a choice but to but to follow him. Everyone's running this way? Yep, okay. We are getting attrition. Uh these guys I guess will just be our sieging sieging duders. Um that's eight thousand, yeah, you can come here. Oh. Comatose, natural death, vessel levies, children. Okay. Um, sure. But unmarried heir. Oh, right. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, wow. Here we go. Genius Countess, German, but she's Catholic and ill and zealous, <laughs> so she's going to hate him. But, uh, I mean, I don't really want to inherit a county in Germany, but she's a genius. There's an attractive Russian in the Rin Desert, and a brilliant stratus, uh, strategist, attractive Russian. Um, there's a genius. Oh, it's the same person. Uh, what time is it? Uh, I think I'm gonna look through the look through the available women, find him a good match, and uh, get back to you with the start of a new episode. So this has been Miskatonic, and we've been watching tons of men die in the Persian mountains. And thanks for watching.